Hey guys, it's Marissa, and you are watching Pajama Wednesday. I hope you guys wore your jammies. So today I just wanted to talk about a little bit about, uh, about, about, a little bit about my week, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful week as well. Anyways, I made a very big decision in my life this week. I've decided to take a brief intermission from school and just spend some time with my family, spend some time, you know, doing the things that I really love to do. And the main reason for that is um, my son, my anxiety, and as well as, you know, my career. My little boy is three years old and he looked at me the other day and said, Mom, you don't want me anymore because you don't see me all the time. And that kind of really hurt, but it went back to what I had been thinking about in my mind for the past couple of weeks and just like mull mulling it around in there, just trying to like make a decision on what I should do just to give myself some more time because I had become very uh, stressed. My anxiety had became awful. I just, you know, I made the decision it will be okay if I take a break from school. It's not the end of the world. It's not going to end me. I'm not going to, you know, like ruin my life because of it. Because, you know, I'm a really smart person. I love going to school. I like doing schoolwork, but I just, I needed some time for myself because I've been powerhousing through school so much, just trying to get everything done. And it's a lot different when you do have a child. It's a lot different when you do have like a career that you're trying to establish. And it's, you know, when you have another job as well, it's like, it gets, to be a lot sometimes. I know a lot of people are probably like, well, you know, you can't handle all of this all at once, but you know, you don't know me. It's my life. I want to be a little happy sometimes. I just decided that I want to spend time with my son. He's the most important person in my life. He is developing a personality. He has this view on me as his mom and he's making his own decisions about things right now and uh, he's not a baby anymore. He's not going to magically turn back into one. He's just going to keep on getting older. So I felt that it was very important to spend those like moments with him in life and be there and be his mom. and not be unavailable to him to, you know, like go play outside or just to sit down and color in a coloring book. And I mean, those are some of my favorite things to do because I'm still a big kid. I'm just one kid myself. I just look at him sometimes and I can't believe he's my son because he's growing up so fast and I still feel like I'm just this young, like, young woman who's trying to figure out her life as well. So I kind of, I want to grow up with my kid. I want to, you know, teach him things. I want him to teach me things. And I just felt that taking a break from school could give me some time to do that and be with him. And it was so cool because yesterday after I went and talked to my teachers, and talk to my friends whom were so supportive of my decision. Me and him sat down and we colored a big picture and we made this zombie pirate ship and he came up with this idea on his own and me and him both love zombies and pirates and we just created this little drawing together and it felt so good to sit there and do that with him. And he was so excited that I came and picked him up from school and we got to do something together instead of me being so tired that I'm just like, go play, you know, I'm gonna sit down here and you can climb up on the couch and play. I was actually up and active with him. And that was like the best 
thing ever. And today I also went and saw my husband at work and ate lunch with him. And I hardly ever get to do that on a weekday. And it felt good to do that. And it, you know, it made me very happy to get some time with both of them because I feel like we're all like in different time zones because we're all doing so much at one time. And it was so important for me to do this for my family and do this for myself. And secondly, my anxiety was so bad at school. I felt that my heart was gonna explode. I'd been extremely stressed. I'd been like panicked about a lot of things that were going on in my life outside of everything else that I had. And I was just having panic attacks in the middle of class and I would have to get up and leave and go to the bathroom. And then people were like, are you okay? What's wrong with you? And I would just have like really crazy moments where people were like, what's, what's wrong with her? What's going on with her? But it was just from my anxiety. I know many people out there do have anxiety and I'm one of those people. And I've had it for almost 10 years, but it's not, you know, it's, been like one of those things I've always dealt with. I don't take medication for it. I found like other outlets in my life to help me a little bit with like trying to control that, you know, problem that I have. It is, you know, it was just getting out of control and I wasn't able to like sit down and do the things that help me with that anxiety. So it was just getting progressively worse and worse. And after I made that decision, I felt like a lot of that anxiety just like was starting to, you know, like go away. And then I started worrying about like what everybody else was going to feel like my friends and everything about me like leaving school. But fortunately enough, everyone has been very supportive of that and I couldn't thank everybody enough for doing what they do. Another, the third reason was I went in my closet and I have this big like hope chest. Uh, it's like a cedar tree chest and um, I opened it. It has all my artwork in it and it has like some of the clothes that I've been making and everything was half finished. So I like sat down and had this big panic attack about I'm not doing the things that I love. I'm not doing the things that like help me feel better. I'm not doing the things that I want to do. I want to share like all these things I make with people. And this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. But I felt that I wasn't able to do that anymore. So that all those things were the main reason that I sat down and decided that this was the best for me right now. But, you know, I still have work, I still have responsibilities, uh, just like anybody else, and I'm still a mom at the end of the day, and I'm a wife too, so, you know, I like spending time with both of my guys, because they're the two most important people to me in my life, and I know a lot of you out there have, like, the same kind of, like, lives that you're just doing everything all at once and sometimes it gets to be too much and you just need a moment to sit down and say hey what would be the best for me and my family and I know that a lot of people can't you know like just say oh I can't do this now but I was in a place in my life where I could do that I was really appreciative of everybody being so supportive and stuff because it made me feel a lot better about what I've been going through, my decision, everything. And, you know, today is my day one of not going to school and I have like a day to myself, which feels really nice because I really needed that and I think all of us need that sometimes. So today I just like got out my sewing stuff and I started making a tuxedo jacket that's been in the works for months and months that I never got around to doing and it's starting to come together and it's so beautiful and it makes me feel awesome 
to do that and I can't wait to share it with you guys and everybody else as well and I also went out today I bought lunch for me and my husband I went to his work ate with him got to see him for a little bit we talked for a little while and it was really nice to do that and I also went thrifting weird enough I have an odd thrifting story and I just went in to get um, some you know they have curtains and stuff that you can use for fabric or to make clothes and that's kind of what I went in there for but there was like a very aggressive lady in there she was a very aggressive shopper and she was like powerhousing through the aisles with her buggy and she was like throwing everything in like to her buggy and that's in the south we call like a shopping cart or whatnot we call them a buggy so if you guys are wondering what what is that it's that's what we call it a buggy um she just had this mound of stuff in her buggy which is cool with me because I've done that sometimes there's nothing wrong with that when you find good prices on stuff why not but she was very aggressive about how she was doing it and I was you know walking around the store going through the aisle she was on I wanted to look at some sweaters and I was raised to be like you know excuse me you know sorry I need to get by you and she just like looked at me like I was the worst person in the world and I was like okay I'll just leave so I like went back down the aisle and had to go up another aisle just to get to the sweaters because she didn't want to move because she obviously didn't appreciate me wanting to get by even though I tried to be as nice as possible and um, I was just looking at some stuff I picked up this little black peplum -y top with some rhinestones on it and decided that I had something similar to that already I didn't want it so I put it back on the shelf and she like swoops in behind me like a bat out of hell meatloaf reference and takes it off the rack and throws it in her buggy and just looks at me like this is my top you weren't gonna get it anyways and I was like okay time to go to the shoe department so I don't have to be near you crazy lady so I just made my way over to the shoes and I got very excited because I found a pair of nine West like red pumps and I in my I thought they were in my size they looked little enough for my fairy feet and I just went to turn over the bottom of them and they had no sole on the bottom of them it was just like the material folded over the sole was completely gone whoever had those shoes to begin with must have like wore them until like it fell off or something but I was kind of disappointed but you know life goes on so I didn't find anything good thrifting today but while I was at my husband's work I did buy some new shades of lipstick for like springtime and they're really cool one of them's called carrot gold I believe and the other one is called Pinkerbell and I thought that was really funny because everybody at my work calls me Tink or Tinker and I got the name from Tinkerbell because I'm a little short person and pretty petite so my mom has always told me I was a fairy so I got Tinkerbell so I thought hey I'm gonna buy this lipstick because it's called Pinkerbell but I can't wait to make a lookbook for you guys um, for the lipstick lookbook and as well as my spring lookbook and I'm probably gonna do a late winter one too just you know for all of you guys who live in colder climates because I am currently in a cold climate it has been ridiculously cold here um, it's like chilling to the bone it snowed yesterday which was awesome but of course it didn't stay I have just had one of those weeks that's been up and down in emotion crazy ladies at Goodwill and shoes 
that are awesome with no soles on the bottom of them as well. But, you know, it's just been one of those weeks. But let me know in the comments down below how you guys are doing this week. What going on with all of you and um, I saw that I have some new uh, subscribers on here so hi new subscribers thank you for joining my channel and thinking I'm cool enough to watch so anyways I hope that everybody's doing really well if not I hope everything gets better for you um, just remember it's not the end of the world and zombies haven't happened yet and it could be so much worse than it is but, you know, sometimes things look up, and I hope everyone's doing okay. But I hope you guys have a wonder. I hope you guys have a wonder. <laughs> wonder bread. <laughs> have a wonder bread sandwich for lunch. It's good. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon, evening, night, day, whatever it is, where you live. And if you guys would like to subscribe, you can do that. And if not, that's cool too, whatever you want to do. And if you guys have any comments, questions, anything that I could be doing better in my videos, anything you'd like to see from me, please leave it in the comments down below. Like this video if you would. And also, dislike this video if you don't like it. And you guys can also follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook. And... Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Bye.